happens to me here. Okay, um, so today I am going to be eating a delicious uh, spinach that my mom made today. Um, obviously this is actually a winter meal, but outside is actually not too bad. It's probably warm. So not too cold, but although I had to open the window just to get some fresh air. Alright. So <sighs> tastes really good. Does any of you really like spinach? It's okay if you don't like it, but Obviously, we do. Me, and my mom, and my dad. Um, she used to uh, make spinach from the garden um weeks ago. But right now she, but she actually brought at the, um, at the supermarket. And this, um, it used to be a Chinese spinach that she grew from the garden. But this one is English spinach. Everything's purely grainy. She might be able to put, pour a little bit of a milk in there, but it's actually not that bad. I think, and I think she also added some garlic because I could feel the taste of my breath. I'll be, heading, I'll be heading back to TAFE College um, on a Wednesday in two more days, so I'm not sure if we're going to do it in the classroom. We still have to stay distant from others. I think we should probably um, do it at the library because I've got a DA. Um, I had a phone call from a disability service consultant um, from the library, and then I'm going to... Um, have a DA. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Bless me. Is that a huge sneeze? Okay. Just to finish off um, my assessments that needs to be completed. And she says it's not going to be a lot of students there. It's going to be like four or five of us. And had to stay at home and just do online assessments the way we did. I actually didn't do online assessment. I had to work hard as I can, but um, I did log on to Teams uh, application to join the group and sort out the questions that uh, we want to um, fill these in, but then it's obviously not working from the Teams app, so... I'll just head, to, head back to TAFE and finish everything off before. I don't want to get far behind.
mom is actually going to make pizza um today. Well, not right now, about three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon. As of right now, it's 1.40 in the afternoon. Um, what I was going to say, um, I think I will learn how to roll a pizza dough again, like last time, so. Sorry, I didn't know, um, when I, when I, when I was kind of overslept and got up and came downstairs to get a, to, to watch, to get a coffee and watch TV, um, I didn't know that there was a pizza dough that my mum made. I was going to make one, but oh well. I'll just learn how to roll the pizza dough. So Sorry, I just want to see if I got spinach stain on my jumper, but I don't think I do, no. Pretty breezy outside, not too hot. It's only around 23 degrees. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to turn 25 on 31st this month. I don't feel like I'm getting old at all, no. I feel really young. But more likely, um, my other sister, Janita, she doesn't live with us, she lives far away. With, with her two sons, she said that when I do head shave, it, when I do number one hairstyle, um, this makes me feel look a lot younger than I'm like 18, but I'm going to be 25. Well, obviously when you eat authentically nutritious, that will make you feel younger if the wrinkles will not appear. I did say it last time when I had, um, what was it, a Minestrone Soup video that I had for those of you who are watching, others who don't watch. If I want to look younger, that's the whole reason, like, I need to eat plenty of fruit and veggies, like this one, this is spinach, and that's vegetarian recipe. But I'm still a meat eater. Once I'm getting old, I might have to try and avoid sweets and all that, all the junks, but not yet, I'm still, I'm still young at least, but when I'm 30 or 35, that means I'm middle age. Just not sure what to mention of the lifespan you're in. <laughs>